Hey guys, I've just been sitting here all day and I tell you, the, the Lord has been churning a word in my heart all morning, all day, I guess. I, I, man, I, I got to get this word out. You know, it's a prophetic word and I hope you'll take uh, time to listen. Uh, once I post the video, I will also post the texted portion to Patreon, the community page, and Telegram as well. <coughs> Guys, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Trust is your open door to receiving what I have for you. Trust in me is also the pillow you rest your head on. It is also the oil in your lamp in the midnight hour and your hope renewed each morning. I have you in the palm of my hand each moment and I will bring you to your appointed hour. My power is all around in what you touch, feel, see, hear, and imagine. You are never at a place where you cannot draw from my power in every circumstance you face. When you command something to shift, it will in my name. Come boldly and speak with authority. You are called to rule and reign with me. This is your portion to walk out with me all the days of your lives. Religion will look to limit and bind what I will do through you, but I have placed no boundary on how high or far you can go with me. You have not been qualified because of what you have done right or wrong in your own efforts and works. I am the one who called you, and I am in the lead, and I will never lead you astray. Others will try to fill your heads with fear and deceit, but I will fill you with the peace that surpasses all understanding. I already know what you will encounter ahead, and I have already prepared the way out. But just know, I am. All you need when you walk the road less traveled. I will not send you out where you are not fully prepared to go. Do not go by feelings as you will never feel truly ready. But I know what I am doing. Embrace the path and be led by my spirit. New rivers are flowing in and through you. This is a season where the familiar makes way for the unfamiliar and how I will not only speak through you, but will also work through you in a mighty way. You are a butterfly set free in ways you did not even know you were bound. It is time for you to experience the full measure of all that I have for you. No longer are you restricted to which would not allow you to soar to limitless, limitless potentials. Today is a day, and this is the hour for you to soar high above the darkness of this world. Lift up your high praises unto me, and the very fire of heaven will rain down from on high and incinerate every chain and every cord of hindrance. You are the army of the Lord, and you will soon be marching in victory after you, after you have left the camp of the enemy in total ruins. Praise for your God is your powerful weapon, and praise will bring down any stronghold surrounding you. No longer listen to man who claims they are the only ones that know what I am about to do next. I am well able to speak to every listening heart of those who are called by my name. I still speak with that still small voice. I still speak by my spirit, like as in the days of old when I spoke to my prophets. I am well able to lead you and guide you by my holy word. If I want you to know something, then I will speak to your hearts. Whose report will you truly believe? I want you to continue believing the report of the Lord. You are on the last lap of the race. Your finish line is in sight. You have run your course well. This truly is a season to be looking up because your redemption is upon you. Prepare 
to meet your God, says the Lord. Guys, we can talk a little bit about the gospel that's found in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4. Verse 1 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I have delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. Verse 4 says, And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Amen. Guys, those are shouting words. Yes, they are. I'm just going to turn it over to Susie and let her present the ABCs of salvation. Hallelujah. And how many know that salvation is as easy as ABC? Yes, it is. The ABCs of salvation, A, admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. This is where the godly sorrow leads to genuine repentance for sinning against the righteous God. And there is a change of heart. We change our mind, and God changes our hearts and regenerates us from the inside out. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins and was buried and that God raised Jesus from the dead. This is trusting with all your heart that Jesus Christ is who he said he is. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Romans 10, 9, it says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and will believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Every single person who has ever lived since Adam will bend their knee and confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. If you want to become born again today, then say something like this, Lord, you said in your word that if I confess with my mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, that I would be saved. I confess now that Jesus is my Lord, and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. For it is with my heart I believe and am justified, and it is with my mouth that I confess and am saved. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in you will never be put to shame. You said that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and cleansing me and forgiving all my sins, past, present, and future, and forgiving me eternal life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you have prayed this prayer, you are now a child of God. Amen. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Welcome to the family of God. Amen.